Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to show a video on a 3D cube in 3JS. First make sure you have a video that can play in all browsers. So I have a video stored in my videos folder and it's an mp4 format. Next in the body section of our HTML file we're going to have to add a video tag. So the video tag will have an ID of video and it'll have a whole bunch of commands here, plays in line which means it'll just play where it is. Muted means it will not have any audio. So if you want sound, don't put that in there. A loop, that means the video will play in a loop. Auto play means it will start to play when it can, even before it's finished loading. Width and height will be the width and height of the video. Source is the path of where the video is stored in your local directory. So mine's in my videos folder, and this is the file name, and it's an MP4 format. And style here is display none. The way we're going to show it is by using HTML to use the video as a texture and then texture it on an object and then display that object in 3JS. Okay, so after you've done all the normal stuff like creating a scene and a camera, we're going to create a material for image textures of the video. So here I've created a variable video which is going to get the element by ID video from the document. We're just linking the HTML video element to our JavaScript file here. And then I'm creating a new video texture and passing in the video into that video texture. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of post-processing of the images. So the min filter and the mag filter, they kind of filter out noise from the image and depending on how the texel is related to the pixel. And now I'm going to create my material for my object. So here I'm creating my movie material and I'm using a basic material. So I'm attaching the video texture to the material map property and then I'm just going to show it on the front side of the object and I'm turning off tone mapping. Tone mapping is used for HDR. I don't need that for this video so I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to create a geometry to show the video. So here I have let movie geometry is equal to new three box geometry so it's a cube so this is the width height and length of the cube. You don't have to use a cube if you want to use a plane you could use that too. It's shown in this line above here. And now I'm creating my 3D object using my geometry and material. So I'm calling it movie cube screen is equal to new 3.mesh and I'm passing in my geometry and my material. So I'm almost ready to go here. Now I just need to set the position of the screen and the position of the camera to show the video. So I'm going to set the position of the screen here at X, Y, Z and then adding it to the scene and then I'm setting the position of the camera here to this X position, this Y position, this Z position and I'm setting the target of the camera as the movie screen position. So the camera is going to look at the position of the movie screen. And in my animate function I need to update the video texture because the video texture is a series of images. So each time there's a new image I need to update that video texture. So that's what this line does here in the animate loop. And then I added some key controls so you could control the video. I'm using a document.onKeyDown event listener. So whenever a key is pressed down, this function will automatically run. It's going to match the key code. So if the key code is equal to 38, so if P is pressed, it will play the video. And if you press the space bar, that's key code 32, it will pause the video. And then if you want to stop the video, you can press S. And if you want to rewind the video, you can press R. And that's it. That's all there is to projecting a video on a cube.